too close. Hi everyone, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Well, that's not right. There we go. Look who's joined us as well. Hello. Right on cue. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, he's been asleep all this time. Okay, we've got to wait for everybody to catch up actually because of the um, thingy. So we're. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, hi. Hello. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Matusu Craft. So, hello. Um, so, tonight we are um, an hour later than normal. Um, is it just normally? In normally, but we're normally on about seven. Okay. So, um, I suppose we are just a little bit later. We're trying something different, I suppose, aren't we? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> is that your excuse? That's my excuse, okay, anyway. No, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we are going to be playing, if you may have guessed from the title, and we are going to be playing with the Peaceful Poppies Element Pack, um, which is um, really difficult to try and show you with a cat on the lap, which is, I'm going to let okay. Jay do the things. On page 25 on the mini catalogue, uh, and it's that pack. So it comes with uh, die cut printed accents, Perfect for water colouring with your choice of colouring tools. Uh, eight sheets total, two sheets printed, black elements, uh, printed thick cardstock and vellum as well. So um, we're actually going to be doing a box card class. He's been really <laughs> persistent. Which Barry um, designed and it falls flat for posting but it does pop up like that so we've used the printed elements there or bars used the printed elements with some vellum um yes yeah so the, the pretty yeah the vellum elements says uh, i think there's one of the other watercolor elements in there as well so it's basically using the designer series paper so from the from the peaceful poppies pack um suite um and all the elements and so the cards which we're going to be playing with tonight is the leftovers from that what we've already used so we want to show you how to get the best out of the peaceful out of peaceful elements poppies pack um so and obviously if you come to our class as well so if you live local to us um if you live in Basingstoke would like to come to that class it is on the fourth tuesday of this month and i said the fourth tuesday because i can't remember what date it is so i'm just gonna have a quick look uh, of next month sorry not this month i was month. gonna say um, it 20... 25th 25th. Um, 25th of february next month and um, if you'd like to come and join us for that you can do so i'll pop the link up um, down below in the descriptions eventually so you can book in for that class and on that class you get all of the stuff which you've seen to make that um, to make this card it's very pretty and plus extras so you'll get half a packet of the paper you'll get the half packet of the elements pack um, and um, then what you as we as we said we're going to be showing we're playing with the remainder yeah. of that stuff so you can get the best out of that stuff. And we're trying to just use that as well. Sorry, dummy was folly. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd, so we're not, we, don't, we don't want to chuck in any extra die cuts so because that means you're going to buy extra things. So we want to try and show... You're going to have card, which is going to be your basic stuff, which is in your kit, which is in your craft room anyway. Um, we're just going to show you how to get the best out of it so you can... Um, yeah, so you can do that. Yeah. So if you want to come to this class, book in for it. Contact us and book in. And you'll get the stuff which you can then make these cards yourself at home where you get the elements to be able to continue. And I've actually playing around uh, with the excess or the um, other elements that comes in the pack uh, when you join our class. Uh, and this is one of the cards that I created with it. So with mm, the watercolour element, uh, the black um, accent there. And I did use uh, another stamp for oh. the splatter but you can use well you can achieve you can that with um stamping blends as well um i really enjoyed coloring that actually which is really nice really nice color and i tried something different uh with this one um so again using the printed accent there and some of the vellums i didn't color the, is there a vellum yeah vellum leaves i didn't color it i just kind of like um embossed it i guess i used the ball tool from the take your pick tool and um to open it it's a bit um it's an odd opening so i thought i'll, I'll try something different but it's double it's got a bow 
for the there and then it opens this way so I thought I'll just try something different there we go yeah, so that's two cards which we created with the... And um, we still have loads. So we, we've yeah, got we've still work. got loads. You'll see. We'll show you what... We, uh, when, we, when we face the camera down, we're going to actually show you what you will be getting or what you can get. For, this is just half a pack, which I will show you as well. And then I'll show, we'll, obviously you'll see what we've then got left to work, out, work with afterwards once we've made up the box card and these two cards as well. So you get an awful lot in there for £6, isn't it? Yes. I think it's uh, it's a really good, it's one which we overlooked initially, but for um, you know what, there's actually some nice stuff. In yeah, there. I really and like. And you can it. really make some nice simple cards, and some of the hard work is taken out of it for you. Yeah, you can make well us all oh, us with everything. You can make it simple, as simple as you want, or as elaborate as you want, yeah. because our class is um, a box a box card, yes. which is great. Lovely. Cool. So we've got a few comments here. We've got a few people on. So we've got Gigi, Hanky, hello, um, Donna, Sandra. Uh, so good. Please do like all of that. Cool. Thank you. So good. Um, so what else are you going to show? So um, from the blog this week, um, um, and I, we can't, I can't remember if we've already shown you. So our class project, our previous class project from um, our card making and paper craft class in Amazing Soak. Uh, using the Mountain Air bundle, they're using uh, the DSP as well, uh, and the other card in inspired by Jessica Weiss. No, Judith. Judy, sorry, uh, Judy Weiss. The other one, uh, we may do. The other one was already sent to its recipient as a thank you. So that's the second one. Yeah. And then, if you want to see that, you can actually then go on to our blog and the full pictures are up there of all of the cards. So if you want to see the other one, which we've already sent away, you go over to our blog and it will be over there for you. Yeah. And on Wednesday, we did a Facebook Live. Um, I did another version of this one with a female version using swirly frames and the free celebration mirror cats. All the gang's all mirror stamp set. Uh, so I thought I'll do the hinge step technique using how I created the background for the Gentleman Crafters Design Team blog and change it up a little bit. And on Friday, Barry did the Casually Crafting blog hop with his peekaboo card. So last Sunday, he showed you how to create um, a peekaboo card like that. So he created an, another version again uh, with the love theme from the Casually Crafting blog hop. So yes. check it out if you still haven't. Uh, seen that or if you want to see the video of how to create a pickable card um, check out our YouTube channel well which you already are on it <laughs> yes just look back on previous videos <laughs> yes cool lovely so oh and um, I'm not sure if you had seen it a couple of a couple of a couple of videos previously we've done the um, played with the kerchief oh dropped it Oh, okay. That's right. Oh, you got it. Yeah, another with the kerchief card kit. Now they're the two cards which we made on camera. And what Jay said he was going to do is he was going to use another one and use another stamp set, which was the. Oh, I'm really good morning, Magnolia. Good morning, Magnolia stamp set. And this is what he created with that one I did there. That on camera. Did you do that one yeah. on camera? Did you? This is what he created off camera with the rest of the dies. So not only does the, if you don't want to, and you still use the elements yeah. from it as well. So the elements from the card pack have been used, but he's just accent. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. I don't know. He's just made it better. I'm just going to go just made it better with another stamp set. So use what you've got in your stash to make other cards. So from that. No, I just, I just changed it up. So, uh, so yeah. I just wanted to show that you can use a card kit to create your own um, your own design cards. So if you don't want to fully follow the card that's been designed for you, because uh, we know that some, some Accentuated, people, that's the word that's I was it. looking for. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you use the card kits. Um, it, it's great. Uh, you can create eight cards. There's eight, um, there's elements enough for eight cards and you can even make it, uh, make more if you kind of like separate all the elements available. Yeah. Cool. cool. All right, so let's flick the camera around. I actually yeah. don't really know what I'm doing. So okay. I've got an idea. 
It's yeah. really simple. I think Jay's is going to be more elaborate, as always. So I'm going to go for the simple. Jay's going to go the other way. Okay, pressure. I think. Pressure. So let's flick you round. Let's bring the light in. Ooh, got me some waste already. And where's the button then? Okay. So a bit of a wobble. That's it. Let's bring that over. I've lost my seat. Cheeky, cheeky boy, I nearly sat down on you then. Come on, off. Come on, here. You have my seat. There you go. Oh, cats. All right, so. Um, let's move out. So, that's it. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you the half of the pack, which is this one here. So, you get all of these elements here. So these are all pop-outs, so you just pop these out. Oh, and so I'll just pop that up. And you can see they don't take much pressure to pop them out either. So they're in, so you get four of those, you get four of these poppies here, and you get two of these ones down the bottom down here. Um, so you get that, you get all of these black elements as well, which are, which are kind of like um, emboss Emboss, resist. Yeah. So kind of like with a clear, it's kind of like almost like you've done it with a clear embossing powder and created that shine on it, which is really nice. Again, all pop out. These ones here, you get loads, you can see them in there, you get all of the watercolour elements, so that there is some nice watercolouring. Um, what's that, oh, my dog um, hogs my seat as well, the second I leave it. Yeah, exactly, same with us, the second we leave. I'm sure they're in cahoots with each other. So that's that one there. So you, you get loads of little leaves here. You get the poppies, you get the poppies on with the stems, you get all sorts. And then you get the vellum, the printed vellum. And the same again, that there is kind of like got the emboss resist on it, so white embossing on it. So when you colour that, that will then show through. And again, all of these are all pop out. So you get loads of elements and that's just half a pack. And so far we've been able to make all of that pop up card. These two cards here, which Jay has shown you, and plus what we're going to be doing this evening. And I still think we'll be able to make a lot more, or quite a few more after that, several more after that as well. Yeah. So, depending on how, how yeah, depending on how much you use the, the elements. So, I'm going to be, so I'm going to be keeping mine quite simple. Um, I'm going to be using the designer series paper so this is the one which i've decided to use this is the first side and this is the back side of it so which is but the both of them are really quite nice okay um this is a six by six and the pack which you, which you um get is a 12 by 12 um the six by six pack which we've got here is a paper sampler which you can get once you join our team or buy the starter kit for 99 pound you get this free of charge, as well as the mini paper cutter, which I'll be using tonight as well, and a stamp set of your choice, as well as £130 of a product of your choice. So, something which is interest, interests you, let us know, okay, and we can we can talk you through how, how that happens. So that's what I'm using tonight, but the pack as well has got a 12 by 12 sheet of this, okay? So I am going to take, um, I've already got, can I have the trim, please, Jay? Mm -hmm. I've got some Whisper White Thick, okay, and I'm just going to trim this down to my card base at the moment. So I'm going to trim this down to make sure it's 14 and a half centimetres. That way. And then I'm going to score it at 10 and a half centimetres. And that will then give me my A6 or just under an A6 card base. And trim for you. And I will unfold and get that ready. Can I have the white pot? Unfold that there. And so what were we insane? Um, can't wait to get my the elements pack yet. You're gonna love it, Donna. Um, yeah, and it's a really nice designer series paper as well. So good. So I've just made that's my card base made up there. All right. So let's take 
let's see how I get on with this. I'll just use the paper trimmer. So because I'm, I'm going to look at this paper and go with the orientation, if I'd done it that way, it wouldn't really matter. Well, it would if I wanted it horizontal, or but it, it wouldn't really matter too much how I trimmed it. Whereas this side here, it would you're going to need to decide, do I want it landscape or do I want a portrait card? Because obviously it will dictate to you how you... you it would dictate if you cut it that way but you really wanted a portrait card it's not going to work because you're going to have sideways flowers so just think about that when you're using your paper whether or not it's actually it doesn't matter how you cut it because you're going to need to you're going to need to kind of look at it now i'm going to go with a portrait on this one i think i was going to go landscape but i've decided to go portrait so we would go so i'm going to pop this in in the little new mini trimmer. So we know that my card base is 10 and a half, so I'm gonna bring this down to actually, I'm gonna bring this down to 10. Um, and I then need to Actually, when cutting the larger things like this, you do need your larger trimmer. The little mini paper cutter comes in handy for your smaller pieces. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. So I just need to bring the larger one in to do this because it's a larger one. Whereas when I'm cutting this, it'll probably be fine because it's smaller, but obviously the paper is too large initially. So and I'm going to bring that to 14. That side there. Okay. That's good. So, and that will give me my mat and layer on this one, okay? Um, what, yeah, no, I'm not going to use any other cardstock because I don't want to use any more cardstock um, because the whole idea of this. And pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one in, pop this element out here. So you can see we've still got all of this left over. We have got one of those around as well, but it's buried in here somewhere. What you need? The black beast piece is buried in there somewhere. Just so you're aware. Yeah. I don't need it, but it is in there. Okay, so you can see, I've already used two, and I'm just using the second one of the banners, and that's going to go in like so. And then I've popped out, so that's. So you can see, that's what we've got left over, and that's what we've got left over, and I'm already using that one there. And this is what we had left over of these elements. So I had, we had two more poppies um, left over like this. Let's see if that goes in somehow. Okay, so that's that. All right, so I'm gonna take one of those out. We've used all of the other elements. We've still got one more poppy left over and I'm gonna pop that in. Let's get rid of those ones there. And I want that to go over like that. Now, I've seen what the problem is here is that we have got a black. So stamping on black is very difficult with a colour. Um, so we are going to heat emboss this. And we're going to heat emboss it in white. And I, I said I'm going to heat emboss, but I actually haven't got a sentiment out. <laughs> It's a heat so emboss. I brought this out. I don't know if you... you I, didn't think of, I didn't think of the sentiment. Um... Oh, what do you want me to do, Lindra? Whatever you want. Um, okay. Because we haven't used it for a bit, and we I haven't. think it's a good stamp set. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, all right, um, I just have a little look at what sentiment I want to use, and so what do we... Well, I suppose happy... Um, There's a birthday there, if you don't want to... Yeah, be. happy birthday is down there. Obviously, you can then, so you can with this stamp set, have a um, family party, you can make all sorts of, to a wonderful brother, to a wonderful sister, to a wonderful daughter, etc., to a special husband. Um, you're the um, best up there. And you've got the and, and the erd, st, <laughs> and the f, uh, so you get for your numbers. Um, okay, so I think we'll just go, with, I'm going to keep it... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it, oh, I don't know, you've put me on the spot now, I don't know what I think about what cards we need to make, but I will just do a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. 
you have well said as well. So we will take happy and we will say take a birthday up there. Actually, I might. Uh, should I make Lynn's birthday card now? <laughs> she doesn't watch these. So I know who's got a birthday one. tomorrow. I don't want to say just in case they're watching. <laughs> oh. Okay then. I will just go happy birthday. It's decisions. It's really complicated sometimes. What stamps to use? Who else has that conundrum? Um, I actually need a stamping block as well. Please. Right here. Oh, look at that. I'll trained him well. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so we've got happy birthday. Let's pop that to one side. So that's going to go in like that. And I'm going to pop happy and birthday. like so and that's going to go over the reason i'm lining up like this is i'm going to do these together because i need a larger block so i've, I've just lined it up together and i'm just going to then pick those up as I want it. All right. So heat embossing. We will grab our embossing buddy. And we're just gonna give this a, a tap over just to get rid of any nasty fingerprint marks. Versa mark. And we will just ink this up. And we we're going to pop that over. Like so. A bit wonky, but. It's really tricky when they sat down. I normally stand up to do a lot of this stuff. And then we were going to grab some white embossing powder, which is, no, that's clear. That's white. And I'm going to do it on the inside of the card pack here so I can catch the, um, heat tool and I'm just going to heat set this. So I do just need, is there a brush around the tool tray? I can get you a brush. No, just one so I'm just going to take off any stray bits. It might just be um, embossing buddy but just in case. So I'm just going to heat this up now so just bear with me whilst this gets a little bit loud. simple. Wow. And then once that's dry you'll be um, you'll be good just to 
wipe it over and that will take off the rest of that embossing buddy or we can get a cloth for as I'm doing. Rub it on your, Rub it on your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's stick this first panel down. Can you give me a warning? I'm just gonna... Some glue on that one. Make sure we stick it up the correct way. And that will then go on there. So this is where we're just using the paper to, to kind of like do a lot of the hard work for us. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think sometimes we overthink crafting and sometimes we think well, we've got to do lots with it. Whereas we don't always have to do Lots and lots. Sometimes we just need a simple, basic card. Put some dimensionals on the back here. So that's going to stick on. I'm not actually that far away, Joe. Okay. That's it. That there is going to stick over like so. And we will need an element which is then going to stick on like that. So just a really, really simple card. Um, we could, if we wanted to, are you doing watercolouring, Joe? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to steal Jay's thunder That's and right. show you the watercolouring. Um, well, I'll show you my watercolouring because obviously Jay's just going to blow you away with his watercolouring. <laughs> no. All right, so I'm not sure whether or not I will use it. There was one I popped out. Is that on the... Um... Which? Which one do you need? There was a large one which popped out. Did you use a large I'm not, one? I'm not using a large one. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So, as we said, these are already embossed on them. So we're going to grab a water pen, water brush. Uh, one which is actually working at the moment. So I'm just going to pick up some of the ink. So I've squirted a little bit of water into this. Pick up some of this ink. And then you can kind of then just colour in this poppy. And because it's got that resist on it, it will then show up. I put in some tissue. Did you move it? It's probably on the computer desk. So can you see that? It's oh, it's resisted it. Okay, so then I'm just going to pick up a little bit darker and then I can then... How I did it on mine is that I've then just blotted in like in the middle parts there and just let it bleed out. That's nice. So you can see I'm going, I'm not squidging any more water out into this. I'm just picking, I'm just gone and I'm just kind of then, 
and just letting it bleed. It's not really, I can't, re not really with a shading on that one there. Um, you can introduce another color, which I, I use. Um, okay, and then I always have a tissue by the side of it. Just gonna blot up some of the water, because I don't want that contaminating the, um, Sorry. Technical terms, that's the thing. All right, so as Jay said, he's brought in, brought in another colour here. So I'm just going to squeeze off the excess colour onto a bit of tissue. So let's just clean that brush off now. And then going to pick up some of the darker and let's just see. I'm going to squidge that in. Yeah, because I'm not actually going to use the big one, so that's good that you're showing the big one. Okay, good. You can see it, and they're just going with a slightly colour. And because it's watercolour, it's, and there's water on it, it's bleeding. So you kind of want to get it, you don't want to go too dry on it. You kind of just want to, you want to have it saturated a little bit. Um, and I'm just being very, very careful. And just, I'm not blotting it in. I'm just gently... Moving some of that ink around. Like that. Okay. Um, good. Clean the brush off is just as simple as squeeze some water out and it's clean, ready for your next colour. So what colour was that we used? We have used Cherry Cobbler and Poppy Parade to create A watercolor poppy. Um, if I suppose, and I, what, what I want to do actually is, I do just want to just blend in that, blend out that line a little bit. So I'm just going to just concentrate on this part here. Yeah, because it's watercolor paper, it's got more um, give with more water. So you're not actually destroying the paper as you add more water. Yeah. And the ink just spreads out a little bit more as yeah. well, which is great. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over, not putting any colour. All I'm doing is I'm just going over with the water brush. And just kind of just trying to soften down that harsh line just to blend it out a little bit. Did you want it to the middle as well? Oh, what with black? I didn't, yes. How did you do that? Oh, with the black pen there, wasn't it? And I'll set that, then move some of that, blend some of that darker ink out as well. So you're kind of just blending it. Hope that makes sense. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. And then do that. I'm going to need yeah, to just do. take the excess water from the middle. Just need to just take off some dry. of the excess water from the middle there for the next step. Excuse oh, me. Oh, Tommy just pulled you. Hey. You're not paying your attention. attention. <laughs> I just got a paw in my back. Um, did you actually just colour it or did you, did you blot it, Jay? I, yeah, I kind of like dotted okay, it. Okay, so I've got the black stamping blend here and I'm just going to see, did you do it with the fine or with the large? With the fine, did I did, but okay. it does take longer. You can use the brush tip for bigger um, surface area coverage, so but I'm, I thought the smaller nib just gives it texture. Yeah, so you can see there what I'm doing is I'm just dotting, and I suppose it almost looks like little pollen, stamens yeah. on a pollen yeah, in whatever. the middle. Um, so because the white, so I'm not colouring it in, I'm just dotting the centre, which has then created that. All right, so I think that looks really pretty actually, mm. it's a good deal. So you can again, so another thing you can do if you've got more blends, you can leave it white if you want. So if you show, oh, it's, um, no, they're all black over there. Um, 
if you leave it white, it still is fine. But I think adding the black in the middle just makes that poppy pop. Poppy pop. <laughs> poppy uh, pop. That actually does. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't actually know where I'm going to pop that. If I want to pop that in there, I just want I it. think I'd leave it. Your card is really pretty already. Not even just another one covering up the bottom part then. I'm going to add it in. Okay. I want to add it in. Jay's going, no, stop. But in or out, tell me. Hmm. I'm going to go, I'm going to go in. Okay. Unless everyone tells me to leave it off. I think leave it off. Jay okay. says leave it off. I say, I say put it in where it is right now. If you're um, gonna put put it, if you're gonna add it, can you add another element, a smaller flower? What about a leaf, a green leaf? Oh yeah, that leaf. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. There you go. Oh, we got a knot in. Okay. Yeah, because it's really nice, but you All right. can. All right. Okay. I will do another card with that thing there. Yeah, then. that's it. All right, I just want to just try. All right, so I'm going to stop there. That's what I'm going to do. If you want to, you could always add some embellishments on here if you've got them to hand. But again, obviously, you don't need to. You've got um, the paper and the elements pack is all here. You've already added some ink and some embossing on there as well, which I think is really pretty. All right, so that's my simple card. I wanted to take it a step further, but I've just shown you how to do some watercoloring there. Um, so I think we're ready for Jay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, the same as me. I didn't really know what I was doing, so. We're, we're crafting as we go, designing as we go. So, I will move out of the way. I will take my poppy with me. Take it weird. Right. Don't no, no, move no, no, seat. No, seat, no, no. Come on. Right, so nope. it's all right. I normally sit at the edge, so but so oh, Barry, so, yeah, so I can get behind. <laughs> so Tommy can uh, sit behind me. So I'm gonna do a card that's got a bit more layer. I'm actually using the offcut paper from the box card that Barry made, and. I haven't cut that to size, but that's fine. So this is old olive cardstock, and that's uh, from the DSP pack. This, I don't know if you can see, has got the embossing on it. So I will be coloring that. It is quite tiny, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. I, You do have the watercolor pencils as well if you if you prefer but i'm gonna try it with the watercolor pencil a uh, watercolor pencil the with the um aqua brush and then i pre punch whisper thick whisper of white with a two inch punch which is this one because i don't i, I it needed another layer as well as um mossy meadow cardstock which is two centimeters by 13.5 so what i actually did i uh, was in the process of designing another card which is mossy metal card base and another off cuts from the box card and i just sliced off two centimeters from there and then cut it in half so you, i'm actually going to use that on there plus another off cut where did it go? Barry, did you move it? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, no, you're not, not really. Uh, I, I want to try and incorporate this. Somebody did that the other day. Yes, I know. I saw it and I was like, don't burn it. Did you rescue it from the bin? No, I rescued it from the floor. It fell from, uh, from the table. So this one was using the banner and I just cut off the end. So I do want to incorporate that. So... All of the elements are being used. I don't think I'm gonna emboss. So I'm just gonna basically create loads of layering with the cardstock and the DSP, creating a topper with 
the circle punch and the watercolor element Ooh, and for the from the vellum I'm gonna use that there and maybe something else so I'm just gonna do something like that but we are going to do the watercoloring so again poppy parade as what Barry used and just do a quick if I can see watercolor wash I guess it doesn't matter too much if you go over if you go over the lines just make sure that you what you do just go over all of the lines if that makes sense pop parade and cherry cobbler I'm just lifting it up so I can actually see where the embossing is but you can leave it on the table so cherry cobbler again as what Barry did I'm just gonna go over near the middle of the flower and then go over the middle in between and just blend it out but I think with these ones you can just kind of like keep it quite simple and just do the nearly do the watercolor wash which is still quite beautiful so that is done and I'm just gonna do the stem which is gonna be in old olive to mimic the card base which is somewhere here so thin concentration it is thin it's probably easier to use the thinner brush I'm actually going over the line but my watercolor is quite rough anyway so yeah. you don't need to be perfect with it this paint 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 brush I've split the head but you can always just well, we have had them for a long time, and they we have, have a lot of use out of them, so maybe it's time we purchase some new ones. <laughs> Can you get me Smoky Slate, please? Ink or...? Ah, uh, ink pad. That would be great. Thank you. Plates. So I'm actually just going to do a wash. even though Barry said, it's all right. So I'll, I just wanted to actually well, do the outside. Do the outside. Yeah, that's but what I was thinking of doing on my poppy, just so you get the outside embossing. So I've, I've added a load of water in there, so it's going to be really light. Ooh, and it's got cat hairs, as always. And it just gives it a border as well, and it won't merge in too much with the punch. Whilst you're doing a wash, can you do my do, do my one as well? Okay. It's this the doing the border will probably be easier when you do it whilst it's still within the sheet. 
if you're wanting to do that, just so you're not having to hold it. Yeah, because you can see, I'm just going to show, initially when I coloured some of these, I actually coloured these ones whilst they were still stuck in there and then pushed it out. Um. So that is done. Just leave that to dry and I'll just do Barry's poppy. Oh no, I'm ruining your mat. Hello. I think that's done. Yeah. And that is Paris one. You might not be able to see it, but it just tints the watercolor paper. Right, let's get cracking. Let's try. So I'm just gonna stick these on. a grid there. I'm just going to use that. So one by one grid. I don't know what grid that is. I'm just using it. I think to do that whatever is to hand. <laughs> I just use it as reference. And it's quite good because obviously you can um, make sure that it's nice and straight as well. So I'm just lining the top. One, two, and that is go over. Is that straight? That should be straight. That looks straight. And then I'm just gonna cut that off with the scissors. Ow! You were trying to give it to me that way, but I would. I was already getting the handle. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you laugh? You like hurting me. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna actually have that at the back. And I'm gonna, because that is, I think it's two the same size of the two inch punch, I'm gonna actually cut it as well. So I'm just gonna trim the bottom just so it's slightly smaller on there you can still see the stem and I'm gonna glue that to there just a hint oh no I was gonna put that underneath quick quick I forgot about the banner. Oops. So do the banner first. <laughs> I'm determined to add it. So I do want to. Right, I'm just gonna curl that up. I don't wanna bin it. It just adds another accent to the cord. There we go. And then I will have that there. And so because I colored, you can see there's a slight difference on there. And as Barry already used the black, I am just gonna do some splattering. Or the splatter on this, I actually use the birthday background. So you, uh, if you do have any splatter, you can do that. Uh, there's a nice uh, ink spots or ink blots from what is it called? The poppy 
the painted poppy stamps, but we don't have it because we're like, right, we're not gonna get it. We'll just get the elements. What's but this? The what didn't we buy? This. <laughs> the actual pack. <laughs> That is lovely. So if you have that, that's really nice. And it this mimics the vellum as well, but obviously larger, I think. I believe that's the same size as the stamps. And you have some sentiments on the other suite as well. So the Painted Puppies bundle in the peaceful... <laughs> All the peace! Peaceful Puppies suite. There you go. Say it one more time, fast. No. One more time. Peaceful puppies. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Ooh, that was a bit much. Oh well. There we go. So just a bit of splatter. <clears throat> or a lot more than intended. And then I'm gonna have that there there and I want some twine somewhere. Ooh, let's do the sentiment. So I'm gonna use the same stamp as Barry did wherever he put the stamps right in the radiator which I don't know why. <laughs> so I will just have wonderful and then if I need it for anything, you can just add uh, the family member or um, birthday if it's for someone else. And I have paper, paper. Right, memento. Again, I'm just gonna So I just inked up wonderful. Can you pass me the classic label, please? So the classic label punch just makes it easier for you to cut straight. But you can, which is this one, you can cut cut it with your snips. But why would you, if you have some helpful tools? But obviously it's, again, if you still building up your punches, use your snips. Right, I might as well stamp the birthday because I'll probably do that whose birthday is it soon I think my next family member would be March so still quite a, a long time so I'm just gonna do happy birthday wonderful birthday even there we go March yeah you got a February one the next birthday. Yeah. And by that point, we'll probably get some new goodies to play with, right? <laughs> Is that a hint that we're going to need to <laughs> show? Is that a hint that we need to do some shopping? Yes. But what? There's so many. I know. There's so we've many. Still got quite a lot of tabs in our catalog. <laughs> and my aim is to get that. Um, the free celebration item at the back of the I brochure. Think, I don't think that's going to be difficult. Which is, I can't remember the name of it. If you have the. Something hope, isn't it? Because it's, it comes with an embossing folder. It's really cool. I probably already said already. The power of hope. The power of hope, which is this. Uh, so it's got the stamps. It's a level two um, item, free item. So you you need to spend ninety pounds to get it for free because you have the stamp and the embossing folder 
uh, which is the stone 3D. Look how cool that is. And it looks, um, yeah, it looks like you can do the usual with obviously using your inks or your embossing powder, Versamark to color that embossing folder, which is great. So I'm gonna have that there, I'm gonna have that there, and then to cover that up there, and I'm gonna cut that. And a twine, let's see, where shall I put the twine? This thing is a mess, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this table is a mess. How am I gonna add the twine? So normally it's good to have twine. Ooh, I'll show you what I did with this one. So I actually um, punch it with the classic label punch um, to, to keep the ribbon in place. So I'm gonna punch it here. So right, I'm just gonna turn that upside down. Or can I? No, I have to do it that way. It is going to be slightly harder to punch. I'm just going to put it all the way in. And it creates a slit or a slot. And then you'll have a hole there. So most of the time, if you have a tent fold card, adding twine would be easier but having a normal fold would be harder so what you could do is if you create a hole you can feed it through what a clever idea he's not just a pretty face is he yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna add another one there just again because i put it all the way in i know that well i'm hoping that it's gonna be it's gonna be correct so that should be straight and then you can make your bow that way and it stops it from sliding everywhere yeah that's quite a good tip i think It'd be clever. yeah i didn't plan that oh even i amazed myself <laughs> you can do a couple more if you want um let's shall we do that we'll do two two rounds And then you don't have to glue the back as well, right? You're hovering. Am I taking too long? No, I'm just keeping a line dinner. No. Right, I'm just pulling it so I know that it's nice and taut. Are you trying to make her speak? No. She looks so cozy on the sofa. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And then... How's that bow? Looks alright. There you go. Right, I'll stop fiddling with it. Right, there we go. Nearly done. And then that can go there, so at least that's good. He said stop fiddling with it, I'm still fiddling with it. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> it's fine. 
So I'm gonna have that there, have that there, and then add the sentiment. I tend to do, I just, Barry always tells me off, why don't you just move some stuff? And they're like, well, there's still a tiny bit of space where I can work. So it doesn't matter, I'll just tidy up after. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to work in a small area, whilst the rest of the table is so messy. All right, that should be enough. Oh, I did the upside down, didn't I? So I'm leaving... Oh, I did that. It's still fine, there we go. Uh, I'm leaving that, so then... That will actually... Hold it in place, hopefully. go and I'm just gonna have that there I don't want a double dimensional because it just makes it taller but if you do that's fine I think if it's completely white white on white you might need another height but because it's got a tint of the smoke is late I think it's fine what I will add one there though just to keep that because it's over Ooh, it's sticky. It's over the circle. Sure. Sure. <laughs> What's up, my Sean Connery? Sounded like Sean Connery. Circle. Circle. Yeah. <laughs> we have a new punch. We have a new circle punch. A circle. Punt, punt. <laughs> <laughs> circle. <laughs> circle punch. Circle punch. Wah wah. Trying to make fun of me. Shackle pants. <laughs> <laughs> and wonderful. Where did you go? There. There we go. No. I want it. If you want to add a bit more vellum accent, you do have. I did take them out. You do have the leaves as well, so you can add Still more. Got loads left over. I know. I was like the Barry. I don't know what to do with that. So it's quite nice just to kind of like have it as speaking out. Uh, you can use it as a topper as well, if you add, if you have. No, that's too dark. Kind of like if you have a, again, circle punch, so it will... Let's have a look. Do I have any paper? He's left me, I can't show you. So yes, another circle punch, and then maybe a colored cardstock, and then have it that in the middle, which is gonna be quite nice. Uh, let's see. Oh. What color shall I use? What are you doing now? Oh, I just wanted to show that. 
pool party. There you go. So I'm just gonna cut it. I love this punch. If there's a bigger one. So you don't have to you you have to collect do as much and what you could do is actually color the back in red which I will just get so cherry cobbler cherry cobbler yeah cherry cobbler And because you're coloring the back, it doesn't have to be as tidy. So this is the light. I think this is the... Is this the... No, actually, there's a puppy parade. But it might be too light. It's fine, I've got it. He's left me. He's doing my dinner. <laughs> there's a puppy parade blend. So I'm just quickly showing. So you, I guess you can mix and match. And then the smaller one can be the darker one. And then we'll see how that looks together because I actually haven't done it before. I think that's everything. There you go, so it just adds color onto the onto the project. I didn't actually color that properly, but you get the idea. And then that can be another topper for your card. Use that up. Oh look. That's the thing there. So you can use that and then have that use the same layout why not <laughs> have that there or have that on top like that but yes use up all the elements uh, we're gonna that's our aim to actually do and then we'll show you more projects so you can get some inspiration as well Barry I'm finished also I was gonna do ooh, I found your off cuts. So you can have that like that. What's the other one? There was two. I haven't trucked it, don't worry. Yeah, I know, it's somewhere. One and you there. can have panels. Yeah. There you go. Nice. That, yeah, that's actually there. So you can even have that there, have the, another DSP there, and have your sentiment there, or separated, and you can have your sentiment just down there. Loads of loads, loads of, of ideas from a six pound kit and using the using what you've probably already got in your stash anyway. So let's flip you round. See the state of the table. And, and there we go. I don't know what you mean. Don't know what you That's mean. That's like all. cleaner than normal. It's not. What? So, lovely. So there we go. Peaceful Poppies Element Pack. Card one. Keeping it really simple, just using some designer series paper, the two elements in there and a little bit of heat embossing. So you can see that there. And the designer series paper um, is the hero there. I love and, that. Yeah. Which is really nice. And I've done some watercolouring which is that one there using the elements. I'm actually quite impressed with that colouring actually. It's like using the second color, second darker mm. colour actually has made that pop yeah. a little bit more. So I'm actually really happy with that. And that black in the middle is um, just makes that pop just that little bit more. So um so yeah, so that was my that was my interpretation of a, of the cards of the pack. And um, you've just seen Jay's. This is mine. Oh, looking at it I would have probably taking that banner down down here. a little bit more so then it's more concentrated at the bottom but 
Oh well, you you learn. Yeah, fine. Yeah. That's it. So. so that's good. And obviously, um, that is obviously if you come in at the if you come in later. Um, this is also what we made as well, and we're doing a class on this at the on the twenty fifth of February. So, um, if you would like to come along to this class, then please contact us or head over to our bookings page, and you will be able to book into that one for this class here. Um, and that's why we've used up the elements on this because you'll get the elements for, to make this, everything to make this, and the, what we've done now is the offcuts, so the, all the elements which is left over. So yes, so you want to get. Like, so I think somebody who was it just said there. I think was it Donna. Um, but it's great. It's value. Good value for money. Um, yeah, such a um, so inspiring. Thank you. Such a great value pack, um, and it is. I think a great value pack, and mm. it can be very easily overlooked in the catalogue. So um, stop playing. Sorry. <laughs> stop playing. Look, All right. it's, there's another card. Ta-da! Okay. Right. So, yes, yes, there we go. We hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, hope you've yeah, gone on for quite some time oh again. Gosh, so sorry, yes. yeah, an hour. Um, yeah, 70 minutes we've been wafting for. So do apologise, but I hope thank, thank you, you for, for stopping, us, with, staying yes. with us. Um, yeah, so that's that. So we will be back, am I on my own on Wednesday? Yes, I'm doing a full day. Okay, you're working late. Okay, so I will be over on Facebook on Wednesday at 7 o'clock-ish. 8, 9, who knows? Yes. Just watch uh, watch that space. Somewhere between 7 and 9 o'clock I will be on, depending yeah. on what um, what we do. Um, so yeah, yeah. Just, just like our Facebook page. Just like our Facebook and, page, and, um, you'll see Get it. notified uh, when we post something or when we're live, so you'll get the notification. Yeah, lovely. So good. If you'd like to purchase any of these items, please head over to our online shop and where you can buy anything which you've seen us use tonight. And we would really love it if you did. So thank you very much. And we will be, or we will see, or I will see you on Wednesday and we will both see you next Sunday. Okay. Thanks guys. Cool. Thank you. See ya.